Hey everyone, James Azar here with the CyberHub Podcast for your daily practitioner brief. It's Tuesday, June 23rd, 2020. A lot going on in the cyber world recently. A lot of different things going on. Let's get right into today's practitioner brief. Nephilim ransomware gang is tied to a Citrix gateway hacks. A criminal gang that's seeking ransomware attack opportunities is targeting organizations that use unpatched or poorly or poorly secured Citrix remote access technology. It's then stealing data, unleashing crypto looking malware and using the threat of exfil data uh, being publicly dumped to try and force payment by their victims. This according to the New Zealand National Computer Emergency Response Team. The alert that was issued last week and was amplified by CISA as well, says that the sophisticated and well-crafted attack campaign has been hitting unprepared organizations with with Nephilim, aka Nephilim ransomware. Uh, there's two different spellings for it. You can get it all at cyberhubpodcast.com and on our uh, practitioner brief, you can get all the details here, which we're not really going to go into. Again, this podcast, this point is to be under five minutes, get you everything um, you need, here's what we do know. They do a data exfil, then they launch ransomware. They move laterally within the network. There's also the data breach reputational risk. And the one thing we all need to be doing with our Citrix systems at the moment is patch, patch, and patch, patch, patch. In another story, vulnerability in the OSI soft PI system can facilitate attacks on critical infrastructure. The OCI soft PI system is a data management platform that delivers plant monitoring and analysis capabilities. According to the vendor's website, PI systems has been deployed at over 19,000 sites across the world, across various industries, including power, oil, gas, manufacturing, and mining. The report comes out after one of the malicious codes that was injected uh, where the uh, attacker needed to wait for a user with elevated privileges to use the vulnerable PI web API and pass their cursors over the infected fields, which resulted in the code getting executed in the victim's browsers. And that's how they injected the code specifically for this one. The CVE for this one is being tracked as 2021 and it does impact versions 1.12.0.6346 and prior. And our final story for today's practitioner brief is 19 zero-day vulnerabilities amplified by the supply chain. The JSOF Research Lab has discovered a series of zero-day vulnerabilities in a widely used low-level TCP IP software library developed by Trek. The 19 vulnerabilities, given the name Ripple 20, affect hundreds of millions of devices and include multiple remote code execution vulnerabilities. The risks inherent in the situations are high. Data could be stolen off of a printer and infusion pump behavior change. An industrial control device could be made to malfunction. An attacker could hide malicious code within embedded devices for years on end. And one of the vulnerabilities could enable entry from outside into the network boundaries. And that's just some of the risks there. Um, Ripple 20 research um, does have several CVEs found with it, 2020 or 6 and 2020 8 There's a white paper that you can find at our cyberhubpodcast.com website um, on our PDF. We do have a link to the white paper right there where you can actually read more about these vulnerabilities. Um, the affected vendors here can be anything from HP to Shinder Electric, Intel, Rockwell, Automation, Caterpillar, Baxter, and many, many more um, across multiple industries from medical, transportation, industrial control systems, enterprise, energy, telecom, retail, commerce, and every single other industry. A very, very interesting white paper. I actually read it over the weekend. I uh, wanted to report on it yesterday, but was glad to get it out to you folks today. So make sure you check it out and take a look at it. It definitely can impact your business. That's it for our practitioner brief here today. Make sure you subscribe, give us five stars, let your friends and colleagues know about this quick five minute podcast with our PDF that gives you everything you need to know in your inbox every single day. Until tomorrow, folks, this is James Hazar signing off and saying stay cyber safe.